The Orlando Magic are off to an incredible start. And I think they're really in conversation for being one of the best teams in the East. So let's talk about it. Before we start today's video, I want to hear down below in the comments, what do you think of the Orlando Magic and what do you think their record is going to be? So let's hop in and let's talk about it. They just defeated the Cleveland Cavaliers 83 to 103. And they blew them out in the second half. You could say the game was close in the first half, which it was. But the team just started clicking on all cylinders and went off. And I think the man that deserves to be talked about is Nikola Vucevic. Nikola Vucevic continues to show that he is one of, if not the most underrated player in the NBA. And I think he's definitely in the top five center conversation for top five best centers in the league. Because what he has done consistently, done in Orlando for what's now nine years, is crazy. He's a man who's averaged a double-double in pretty much seven of those nine years since being in, you know, in Orlando. And he makes such an impact. And this year, he's just clicking on all cylinders. It's the man cannot miss. And every single night, he's going to be giving this team pretty much 20 points and making an impact on the offensive boards, rebounding and being the heart and soul of this team. And it's crazy to think that he's 30 years old and it's just wild to think that if he was on a contending team, he would be such a valuable piece. And I'm surprised that no team has ever made them like a, a good offer to trade him. Not saying that they should ever trade Nikola Vucevic. They obviously time will come where they will have to, but as of right now, he's the reason why they're the best team in the East. He's one of the most dynamic all around centers. He does everything and he's just so good. Aaron Gordon is another man who, yeah, his three point shot isn't there, but he's coming into his own and like, obviously his three point shot is like he shot 34, 30% for the last few years, but in the sense that he's not he's not a threat from there <clears throat> but what he is showing is a willingness to play defense and be a the athletic he, he knows his role at this point like we're we know what Aaron Gordon is and Aaron Gordon knows what he is he's a high energy player who can score in bunches at, at a given moment and he can be an athletic, athletic rebounder, and he can be a game changer for the team at points. And when he's on, when he's hot, he's hot. And that's somebody great to have on your team, you know. Great player. And a guy who had a quiet night tonight, but he's had a really good season. He, he just, you could say it was quiet, but he did continue to be a good ball distributor. Is Markel Fultz. Markel Fultz is having a good year this year and he's improving since his season of last year and i think right now obviously the stats don't tell the full story but he has taken over games he has played games where you look at it and you're like markel fultz is looking like the man we thought he was going to be like the, the night where it was the wizards and then they played the thunder uh, one night he had 26 points and had a steal and was just all over the place on transition and playing really good. And the following night against the Thunder, he, instead of being the scorer, he was the lead ball handler and ball distributor and had 10 assists and was getting his team's open looks. And he knows that some nights he needs to be the scorer and some nights he needs to be the, the, the true point guard and playing his role. That's one thing I, I really like about James Borrego is he really gets his players to know their role like on a night where like okay if this hand is hot they're going to keep feeding the hot hand which is which you should do and they keep feeding the hot hand and then have the other players continue doing their role which is you know either being a slasher or playing good defense setting up their other players with picks or just being doing off ball motions and off ball like off ball movement to open up like the floor and space the floor to get his teammates, their teammates to have open shots. And a man that Terrence Ross is having a great season shooting the basketball and he's continuing from the bubble. He was shooting really well in the bubble as well. So it's really see, good to see Terrence Ross continue to be like, at least he's worth the money it seems like at times. 
uh, majority of the times. And a guy I do want to talk about is Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba is, he hasn't like played since the bubble after he had complications with COVID-19. But Mo Bamba kind of looks like a not good. And this is his second season, you could say. It's, no, it's his third season. He got drafted in 2018, so 18, this is his third season. And it's interesting to see that this was his first game. And I don't know, man. Like, he shows the block, blocking ability and the ability to be a really good shot blocker and have the willingness to stretch the floor so he could be a modern-day, you know, stretch like stretch five rim protector. So uh, three and D, three and rim protection, big man. But, and he's 230 pounds now. It's just, why is, why is Kem Birch looking better than him? You know, Kem Birch came into the league what seems like forever ago. And he's been on the Orlando Magics for a few years now. And he play has played more minutes the past three years since Mo Bamba's been there, Kem Birch has been getting more minutes. And he he's a high energy, high energy guy who came out of Pittsburgh, Panthers, and UNLV, you know, and he's a guy who plays hard and he's scrappy, he does things that doesn't show up on the stat sheet, and he's definitely an energy guy. It's just crazy to think that, damn, this undrafted guy is getting more playing time than Mo Bamba. Like, Bo Bamba should develop sooner rather than later. Or I think they should maybe cut their losses and try to recoup some of that value that he had and send him somewhere so you guys can get a player who could help you guys make a stretch into the playoffs. Cole Anthony has surprised me. I was talking so much smack on Cole Anthony. And he had a you know right night tonight, not really while shooting, but he had, he had some assists. And he's really looking like a true backup point guard. And a few nights ago, he had an explosion against the 76ers, but he's making me eat my words about how I said Cole Anthony isn't that great. And I, I wasn't a huge fan of him, but I really do believe that the Orlando Magics are the, not the Magics, Orlando Magic are the best team in the East or have a chance to be the best team in the league. Or the East, you know. But that's the video, guys. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Let me hear down below in the comments what you think about the Orlando Magic. So let's hop into the video. Not the video. Let's hop in. And you made it to my next video. As always, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. Because I know I will. Two nice guys. Peace out.